Have you ever pondered upon the end of the world? What triggers such anxiety and how has it shaped our culture? In the vast expanse of human history, countless civilizations have found themselves gripped by a shared sense of impending doom, the end times. This looming dread of the apocalypse of the world's end has been a constant companion to humanity, etching its mark across our collective psyche. And this anxiety, it's not just confined to our minds. It's spilled over, seeping into our culture, our art, our literature, our films. It's become a mirror reflecting our deepest fears, our hopes, and our understanding of our existence. Why is this relevant, you may ask? Because understanding this element of our culture gives us insight into our collective consciousness, our shared fears and hopes, and how we've chosen to express them over the centuries. Join us on this fascinating journey through time as we explore how end times anxiety has permeated our culture. Our journey begins in the realm of ancient literature, where end times anxiety first found its voice. Literature, in its many forms, has long been a mirror reflecting humankind's deepest fears and most profound hopes. And among these, the anxiety about the end times holds a special place. From the earliest religious texts to the classical epics, there's a recurring theme of an impending doomsday, a cataclysmic event that would bring an end to the world as we know it. Take, for instance, the Book of Revelation from the Christian Bible. It is drenched in apocalyptic imagery, painting a vivid picture of a world consumed by war, famine, and death. It's a potent depiction of end times anxiety, one that has influenced countless works of literature throughout history. Similarly, the ancient Norse sagas speak of Ragnarok, a great battle that would result in the destruction of the gods and the world. This narrative of an all-consuming battle between good and evil, of a world teetering on the brink of destruction, is yet another manifestation of end times anxiety. Then, we have the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known works of literature. It tells the tale of a great flood, an event that wipes out all of humanity except for a chosen few. This theme of a world-ending catastrophe, followed by a rebirth or a new beginning, is a common thread in many cultural narratives about the end times. These early works of literature were not just creative expressions of their respective cultures. They were also a reflection of the collective fears and anxieties of their times. And in their tales of destruction and rebirth, of battles between good and evil, they laid the groundwork for how future generations would come to understand and express their own anxieties about the end times. From these ancient texts, a pattern emerges, a pattern of fear, of hope, of a world in constant flux. These narratives, steeped in end times anxiety, have shaped our cultural understanding of the apocalypse. They've influenced countless works of literature, film, and art, and continue to do so to this day. As we can see, early literature laid the groundwork for the cultural manifestation of end times anxiety. Fast forward to the 20th century, and we find the silver screen echoing the same anxieties of the end times. In the realm of modern cinema, the concept of end times is no stranger. It's strikingly visible in the proliferation of post-apocalyptic and dystopian genres. These films, often set in bleak and desolate landscapes, teem with narratives of survival, resilience, and the struggle to maintain humanity amid chaos. Take, for instance, the post-apocalyptic genre. These films paint a grim picture of the world following cataclysmic events nuclear warfare, alien invasions, or even zombie outbreaks. They exploit our deepest fears by presenting a world where societal structures have crumbled and survival is the only law. But within this bleakness, there's often a glimmer of hope, a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity. Dystopian films, on the other hand, present a more subtle yet equally unnerving manifestation of end times anxiety. They portray societies where oppressive regimes have stripped away individual freedoms and technology has been weaponized to control and surveil. These narratives serve as cautionary tales, warning us of the potential pitfalls of unchecked power and technological advancement. What's fascinating is how these films resonate with audiences. They tap into our collective anxieties, reflecting our concerns about political instability, environmental degradation, and technological overreach. 
they also stimulate conversations about morality, ethics, and what it means to be human in a world on the brink of collapse. In many ways, these films are a mirror to society, reflecting our deepest fears and hopes. They offer us a glimpse into potential futures, and in doing so, force us to confront the challenges of the present. They make us question, reflect, and hopefully act. So while the settings and narratives of these films may be fictional, their impact on society is very real. They not only entertain but also educate and provoke thought, making them powerful tools for social commentary. Modern films thus continue the tradition of expressing end times anxiety, albeit in a more visual and visceral manner. Art, the mirror of society, has not remained untouched by the end times anxiety. When we venture into the realm of modern art, we find an array of works that reflect this deep-seated apprehension about the future. From thought-provoking paintings to immersive installations, each piece presents a unique interpretation of this collective fear. One of the pioneers in this space is British artist Damien Hirst. His piece, The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living, a shock suspended in formaldehyde, is a stark reminder of our mortality. The shock, both feared and fascinating, represents the impending doom that looms large in our minds. Moving over to the United States, we find Jenny Holzer, an artist whose work prominently features text to convey stark messages. Her piece, Inflammatory Essays, is a collection of bold statements that evoke a sense of impending chaos. The essays, with their aggressive tone, mirror the unease and confusion inherent in society as it grapples with the fear of the end times. In Japan, Yayoi Kusama's infinity rooms provide a different perspective. These mirrored rooms, filled with colorful, pulsating lights, create an illusion of endless space. It's a disorienting experience, one that can be seen as a metaphor for the uncertainty and endless possibilities of the future. The reactions to these works have been as varied as the pieces themselves. Some viewers find them disturbing, others thought-provoking. They generate conversations, debates, and even controversies. But isn't that what art is supposed to do? To stir emotions, to make us question, to make us think. Art, in its many forms, has the power to channel our deepest fears and anxieties. It serves as a conduit, a mirror reflecting our collective apprehensions about the end times. Whether it's Hearst's Shark, Holzer's Essays, or Kusama's Infinity Rooms, each piece captures a facet of this pervasive anxiety. Modern art thus presents a unique and often unsettling perspective of end times anxiety. From ancient texts to modern canvases, end times anxiety has left a deep imprint on our culture. This pervasive theme has woven its way through the tapestry of human history, from early scriptures foretelling apocalyptic events to contemporary films that showcase our collective fears about the future. Our exploration through literature has revealed how writers have used end times anxiety as a mirror, reflecting societal concerns and struggles. Moving on to the silver screen, we saw how filmmakers have harnessed this fear, using it to create compelling narratives that tap into our deepest insecurities. Finally, we turned our gaze to the world of art. Here, we found stark and often unsettling depictions of the end times, serving as a poignant reminder of our collective fears and hopes. As we continue to grapple with the idea of the end times, one thing is clear. Our anxieties will continue to shape our culture in myriad ways.